Oh my goodness. Vintage 1991 Chanel dress. Are you guys ready for this? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, let's talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for, and what platform it sold on. And I shared this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best October bolo. And we're just going to dig right in and look at these items that sold for big money. It says, hi, Courtney, I found this at Goodwill. It wasn't in the toy section. Someone must have picked it up and changed their mind and put it in the breakables. I paid $4.67 and it sold for full asking price of $55. I'm so glad you and other viewers have said, look everywhere and dig deep. It is a Hasbro One Direction Harry Styles collector doll. So it's kind of like probably the size of like a Barbie, but this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Fine. She has an awesome YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. Her What Sold videos are top notch. You guys are going to learn so much from her. I will link her down below. Bolo Buddies members are people that have joined Bolo Buddies memberships at level two or higher to get uh, featured in this video. So I basically pop up their uh, YouTube channel or eBay store and link them down below to help you guys learn from them. They are incredible. So check out that description. She said, I bought this at an estate sale for one buck, and it probably is one of my favorite surprise bolos ever. I had no idea this was a sought after landline phone. What? This is a phone? No way. I thought it was like fishing tackle or something, but now I see the cord. Um, it sold for 160 within weeks. Crusader Frog Phone, Landline Flip Novelty Telephone, Vintage and Tested. How cool is that? That is an awesome bolo. Bought this at a local thrift store for 10 cents and sold it on Poshmark for full listing price of $85. Item sold with a large mark, disclosed in listing on the cover. It is a vintage, it is a vintage New American Standard Bible. There you go. Bibles on Poshmark. You can sell anything, almost anything on Poshmark. Same with Mercari. They are not just clothing apps. And I do have links down below, referral links, where you'll get $10 to shop if you join with my Poshmark link, $10 to shop if you join with my Mercari link, and another $20 to shop on Mercari when you sell $100 worth of stuff. Get on those pl platforms. Cross post, cross post, cross post. I use List Perfectly. There's a demo how-to video down below on that as well. And you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES. And I have been using List Perfectly since 2019 and I still love it. So you guys know that um, if I love something, I will tell you about it and I will tell you about it over and over and over again. And finally, or after a while, some of you might be like, I think I'm going to try that because... She keeps talking about it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Found this at the local Goodwill for $4.99. It just look, looked funky and homemade. I was shocked when I looked it up. It is a, oh my goodness, this is so tiny. The original senior card skirt by Cardigan IU Indiana University class of 1967. So I think it's probably something from a university, possibly handmade. I'm not 100% sure, but I, oh my goodness. I wish I had a bigger picture. It sold for 300. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. I think it says $355. Wow. That is rad. See, you got to pick up the weird, pick up the weird. That's what Farm Girl Scavenger Noel always says. Buy the weird, sell the weird. All right, purchase these uh, Giavinto, Giavinto, <laughs> G-I-A-N-V-I-T-O. Let me just spell it for you because I certainly can't say it. Rosy Lambskin Flats at the Goodwill for $1.25, sold in two weeks for $168.00 plus shipping. And that's what they look like. And they sold on Poshmark. Got this lamp for free. I almost didn't take it. I did my comps and found one just like it that sold. I listed mine for the same price as the one that had sold. Buyer paid full asking price plus shipping. I got positive feedback, sold in less than 24 hours for $39. Antique late 1800s glass handle finger kerosene oil lamp. I would have walked 
right past that one because why? I wouldn't want to ship it. But that's my loss, right? Bolo Buddies member, Horse Lover. And she is, that's on eBay and YouTube. And she is also Horse Lover on Whatnot. Uh, actually, eBay is resell and donkey yells, unless she changed it. Storage unit find and everything from it is a profit. Oakley Kitchen Sink Backpack. Sink Backpack? Never heard of that. Cost is zero since money is already over unit price by hundreds. And it's a tactical fear field gear backpack sold for $86.35. These came from the storage unit. So cost, z cost of goods was zero. So basically what she's saying, she bought a storage unit she sold some items that paid for the unit and everything left in it is pretty much profit. That's what she's thinking in her head. And you know, a lot of times when you price your items, you keep that in mind. Also when accepting offers, you're like, my cost of goods, everything is already paid for. So I'm gonna take that offer. Telephone lineman, gram tension gauge, AT&T gadget equipment, tester. I have no idea what this is, but she sold it for $51.44. Here is another fabulous profit. Put this in auction with 99 start because I didn't know what to price it at. It is a Jabba the Hut Lego set up for auction, almost complete, and sold it for $127.50 on eBay on auction. Hi, Courtney. I learned so much from you. Thanks for all you do. Oh, thank you so much. I learned so much from all of you guys. Thank you for sharing your bolos. She said, I got this vintage blow mold at a flea market for $5 and sold it for a hundred plus shipping. This one comes from eBay store Fortune 88. And she is also a Bolo Buddies member. Leprechaun gnome blow mold. Now that is one I haven't seen before. Uh, Christmas, Halloween, we know those go for big money, but this one also goes for big money. Sold for an offer of 85 plus shipping. Found in a box of vintage items next to the dumpster at our apartment complex. This is small, measuring only three by two by one. Antique Art Nouveau. Are you proud of me? Nouveau. I used to say Nueve or something like that. <laughs> Isn't that the number nine? Nouveau. You guys corrected me so many times. Thank you. I think I finally got it. Antique Art Nouveau. Women cast woman cast bronze jewelry dresser desk tray pin pipe ashtray those are the key words 99.99 for this one got it a yard sale uh, near something oklahoma paid two dollars and fifty cents sold for 20 percent off asking price of 76 it is a restal spotter felt cowboy hat and they sold this on poshmark cowboy hats on poshmark there you go guys Yeehaw. It was funny. The other day I was saying y'all at whatnot in my whatnot show. And I'm like, why am I saying y'all? I don't say y'all. I don't say y'all. Like it's not in my vocabulary. I say a lot of things, but not that. And I was like, who is it that I watch that says y'all? And it's flipping friends. It's her fault. It is her fault, you guys. If you hear me say it, it's because I keep hearing her say it on her whatnot shows. If you are not following flipping friends on whatnot, she does vintage Barbie. Oh my goodness. She's going to do jewelry also, but she has heaps and piles of vintage Barbie. You know, the black label, like the awesome vintage clothing. So go follow Flippin' Friends on Whatnot. Again, my referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop. You can spend that with her if you collect Vintage Barbie. She is killing it over there on Whatnot with Vintage Barbie. Check her out. It's Flippin' Friends. All right. Hi, Courtney. I bought five of these Beverly Hills MD Wrinkle Cream. Thrift store buy at the end of my buys and notice these. They said a dollar each and I had $3 left and I asked if she would take the $3. Yes, I've sold all five in October and I'm thrilled at my $3 investment. Four buyers, one bought two. Total for all five, $183.25 plus buyers paid shipping. This is why I keep selling. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Beverly Hills MD, some sort of wrinkle filler. <laughs> Must work. Vintage Mr. Christmas Santa Ski Slope 1992 Complete. Yes, look up anything Mr. Christmas. Some of it's big money, some of it's bread and butter, but look it up. Picked for free at a local Facebook group a few months ago. Sold for $170 on Poshmark. 
I had to pay an upgraded shipping label for 18 more since it did weigh nine pounds. Well worth it. Yes. So anything over five pounds on Poshmark, um, you absorb the extra shipping costs. You can sell things that are over five pounds, but those uh, additional shipping costs are going to come out of your profit. So just know that. But uh, just increase your price. Make your price higher and know that you're going to have that additional shipping cost. You can go to Poshmark and look up what those additional fees are. It's um, each pound over up to 10 pounds. Vintage 80s Christian Dior two-piece 100% wool suit size 2 petite. Purchased for eight at an estate sale and sold on Poshmark for $78 within a few months. The buyer was in an Asian country and had it shipped through a forwarding service. Oh, Okay, that's good to know on Poshmark. And it's Christian Dior, so nice brand. Paid $5 at a thrifty shopper in Syracuse, New York. Sold for full asking price of 70 <laughs> of 78 plus shipping. Media mail shipping. Look for books published by small local publishers. Also, the topic of this book is of interest to an elite group. This one comes from comes from Edge City Traders, who is also going to be selling on Whatnot as Edge City Traders. So go give her a follow. She's brand new. She's having her first show soon. Maybe by the time this comes out, she'll have already done her video. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this, but please go follow her on Whatnot. You know how it is to be a new seller on any platform, so show her some love over there. And it is a Road to Yesterday Old Trap Shooting Stories 2005 First Edition. $78 for this one. This one also comes from Edge City Traders. Paid $4 each for these two small metal flower in a pot figurines at a local animal charity thrift store. The pair sold for 60 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. My October Bolo. I paid 25, I'm gonna say cents maybe for this, but maybe it's $25. Hmm. My store is born to collect a variety. She is a Bolo Buddies member. And she said, vintage Stife Bunny Rabbit jointed $199 for this. Bolo, she said, thank you to Courtney. So she must have seen something about Stife Bunnies in one of my videos. Paid $5 at a summer yard sale. It is World of Warcraft book, Lot of Nine, Richard something, uh, Knack, Christian, I'm sorry, Christy Golden, and they are, what are they? Books, $75. <laughs> They're books. They're just books. Oh my goodness. Vintage 1991 Chanel dress. Are you guys ready for this? Paid 13 at 2nd Avenue in Alexandria, Virginia. I don't know if that's a thrift store or what. Sold for 800 shipped via PayPal after discussing in a group like this one, but for Poshmark sellers. I insured for free and shipped priority, so it was 26 to ship and insure, which I covered. After PayPal fees, shipping, and cost of goods, profit was $730. So I think she sold it in a Facebook group. Wow. Just wow. I don't, I want to know if that's a vintage. It says Second Avenue. Hmm. Maybe a thrift store. We bought this book at a library book sale for a dollar. We listed it for $225 and took an offer of $190 plus shipping. X, a fabulous child story by Lois Goud, HC First Edition, 1978. Hard to find. Not sure, but it sold for big money. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I have a ton of videos like this. I would love for you guys to come and share your big money bolo over in the Facebook group. Um, it will be under the featured section. So we are gonna be looking for November bolos, items that sold on any platform in November. Again, check out the description of the video for different things that I use for my business. And as always, Thanks for watching.